Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Your boy is Pilot 2K7, and we are back in another Coastal Callouts episode here in Grand F Auto 5, playing some more LSPDFR. And today, as you can see, we have a port police, Los Santos port police, uh, Silverado here that we are going to be using. And we are arriving at the port of Los Santos police station. We haven't been here in a really long time, guys. So this should be a really, really fun patrol. If you look right there on the building, we got the port of Los Santos. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and go on patrol. Last time we patrol down here we used a little tiny dinghy boat um, well looks like the budget has been increased for the Los Santos Port Authority police so we now have a new boat we have a defender class boat it's a 25 foot boat similar to what the Coast Guard uses and uh, I'm gonna show it to you guys so if you guys are brand new you have no idea what we are playing today this is called Coastal Callouts it's by PNW Parks fan it lets you play um, LSPDFR, but it lets you play as it play it from like a Coast Guard rescue perspective. But uh, instead of doing Coast Guard, we're gonna be doing the Port Police. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Make sure you guys check out the information and the links down below of how you could get this mod a little bit early before it comes out. It's still in development, but it has come a long way. And um, let's check out some of the new updates. So this is gonna be the first time that we're using the new boat here, the Los Santos Port Police boat. And this thing looks beautiful here. I love the color schemes, love the graphics, everything on this looks amazing. It looks like our partner is inside already. We got our life vest on and we're pretty much ready to go guys. So these EUP uniforms are awesome looking, also looking nice as well. So if you guys are ready for another awesome video, make sure you guys smash that. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I always end up in the order like I practiced this like three times before all right no I didn't but I did it once and uh, we got it with no problem of course we always I always say it's not a close to call us episode until we're in the order but anyway guys like I was saying we haven't played in a while Dang, I have so many extra weapons I should probably get rid of like half of these here but um yeah we haven't played in a while but looking forward to playing again uh, we did play last Saturday and Sunday you guys really did enjoy it and I did promise you guys we should be doing some more coastal callouts every Friday every Saturday and Sunday excuse me so our partner is already on board how you doing man ready to go all right cool so let's go ahead and get going here all right so we are inside you ready all right, let's go. So first thing we want to do is bring up our menu here. Let's go ahead and unanchor our boat. So the anchor feature is pretty cool. It keeps the boat exactly where you left it. See, as soon as I unanchor it, the current is already pushing us. I'm not even doing anything yet. The current is pushing us. So by anchoring the boat, it keeps us right where we want to be. So anyway, we're going to be patrolling the port area of Los Santos. So we have the airport. We have all the shipping ways. And the shipping ways really do have to be protected, especially nowadays. So much things are going on. So definitely is good to have a police force out here enforcing the law. This is a very important motorway or waterway, I should say. And, you know, we just can't have anything um, happen to it. So, like, we don't want no type of attacks, no type of, like, um, like reckless boat. Like, this guy. What the hell? Alright, it's uh Alright, let's go ahead and take this guy into custody. He shouldn't even be riding like that. I'm gonna see if I can pull him in. You okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna throw you a life a life ring, okay? I can't believe this happened so fast. That was not even planned. Alright, let's throw a life ring at him. Alright, we got him. Let's go ahead and reel him in by pressing enter. So we're pulling him in now. And what happened to his boats over there? We may have to, well, his dress, you may have to tow that. Oh my god. Uh, you okay, buddy? You okay? All right, go ahead and uh, just stand up. Hey, don't leave, don't leave. Be stupid, I wanna kill you. <laughs> All right, man, what, what was that about, bro? Jesus! That was a very dangerous maneuver. We're in a no wake zone and you was causing a lot of wake there obviously. You hit our boat. You could have killed yourself. You could have killed somebody else. You, you been drinking man? Hey, I'm gonna do a breathalyzer test on this guy because he's kind of wobbling. I mean the boat is wobbling, but he's wobbling a little extra there. 
All right, no alcohol. You have any ID on you? You have a license to um. I look at your freaking jet ski floating away. We're gonna have to yep. go ahead and get his jet ski. Can't believe he just hit us like that, though. Jake Everest. All right, so let's go ahead and run his name really quick. So Jake Everest. Just want to make sure all of his documents are in check. Valid, no active warrants. Okay. Kind of wanna. Uh, let's just unload EP since we don't need this. And I just want to check his boating license as well. So we're going to do a records check with this as well. And he does not have a boating license. Alright sir, so you're operating this vehicle in an unsafe way. I'm going to go ahead and actually place hands behind your back as I fall through. But I'm so nice I could do this underwater. Well, these are some interesting sounds here. So we're going to take him in for it. Uh, operating a jet ski in a unsafe way. Let's see if I can, can we put him in here? All right, so we got him in custody here. Um, let's see. Let's um, we could take him right back there. Let's try taking him back. We never did that before. Where is his uh, jet ski? Where did his jet ski float to? Probably floated away. All right, I don't even see his jet ski. All right, we're going to take him back to the station. And um, he's going to get arrested for operating a jet ski illegally and unsafely. So, yeah, that was pretty crazy. So we're going to get back out in a second. We're going to respond to some calls. Um, we're going available for calls first so that we can have calls to respond to. And um, so, yeah, we may respond to some calls. We may do some boat safety inspections. We may have to enforce some... Uh, waterways, water security, um, what do they call it? Water zone. I can't think of the words right now. <laughs> water zone violations. Uh, I don't know. But we're going to have some fun. Just put it that way. Don't worry about all the talking. <laughs> we're going to have some fun. So we already have transported that guy inside. Let's go ahead and get on patrol now. And I'll show you guys some of the lights this has as well. This has a different light bar from the Coast Guard version. This light bar is awesome. I did not realize that at first. That's a really nice light bar there. And also when it's nighttime, you can also turn on these uh, floodlights here in the front and the back. And I actually tried it at night. They really do um, brighten up everything, which is pretty cool. So anyway, let's head out here and start patrolling the ports and see if we can respond to some calls and have some fun, guys. Also, guys, if you want to see some more Coast to Call Us action, make sure you guys let me know by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Oh my god, more jet skiers. Watch out. These guys are freaking crazy. You guys need to take that somewhere else, man. Alright, so we're going to head into the port area over here and see if we could respond to some calls. And we're going to look for any suspicious boats out here as well. So as you see, this is where all the cargo ships come in and out of the port. So it's very important that we keep these areas safe. And that's why these jet skis aren't supposed to be in here. So it looks like he's getting out of here, which is good. All right, so we're going to be out here for a little while. Let's um, see if anything happens and stay, stay tuned. Any available Coast Guard unit citizens report a vessel in distress in Palomino Highlands. Target is in the water. All units respond. All right, guys. So we just got a search and rescue mission. We have a report of a sinking jet ski. Uh, looks like it's going to be not in the port, but it's pretty close to our response area. So we're going to go ahead and respond to it. All right. So we believe jet ski carry one people has flipped over one person. So let's go ahead and respond to that. This boat looks awesome though. Let me know what you guys would like to see next in the next Coastal Call Us episode as well. Would you like to see a helicopter rescue or some more boating action here? It also has gotten really foggy as well. Visibility is not too good right now. 
Dang, all of our calls have to do with jet skis today. All right, so we're gonna update one victim involved. It looks like it's gonna be a male. All right, you ready, brother? All right, we're going in. Whoa, they're hitting these really high. So again, we are the port police, but uh, we are responding a little bit out of our jurisdiction because we are the closest uh, marine unit right now that could probably make the grab. So we're gonna go ahead and head out here. Hopefully, they are at the last known location we could find them pretty easily if not we may have to call the coast guard out here to help back us up and search so let's let's see what happens all right so there was last seen right up here at this coast so let's see if we could search the area and find them i don't know why they are jet skiing out in this weather right now as you can see it is not too nice right now. Visibility is not the greatest. Hopefully we can find this person. Like I said, if we can't find him after a couple minutes, we're going to definitely notify the Coast Guard. Alright, so we are on scene. And let's see if we can find him now. Let me know if you guys see anything. Oh, I see something over there. Is that somebody? I saw something. Oh, I see a jet ski. I don't see a person, but I see a jet ski. At them in the water. All right, there he goes. All right, we I found our person. Target. It looks like he's probably gonna be able to. Is he able to rescue himself? No. You okay? All right, let's try to help this guy out right now. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! All right, he's good. He's good. He's good. All right, stay inside. I'm gonna try to grab this guy. All right. Hey! 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 Where are you going? <sighs> He got a book bag on and everything. All right, let's see if we can pull him in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull him in right now. All right, I'm reeling him in right now. Looks like we got him. Damn, we're really using our dinghy today. I mean, our life raft, I should say. Life ring. You okay, sir? You all right? Okay, we got you, buddy. All right, everything's okay. You're the only one out here, right? He's the only one on the jet ski. All right, you can go ahead and take a seat inside. All right. All right. So his name is George Luca. You all right, George? What you out here doing by yourself, man? It's not safe. Visibility is not the best, man. All right. Well, uh, we're gonna take you back to the station. All right. Let me see if I can get your jet ski. Alright, so we're going to use another feature here of Coastal Callouts. We're going to go ahead and tow his boat. And I'm going to show you guys how we do that here in a second. So let's open up the boat towing menu. And we're going to tow it with our own boat. We can also request a tow boat, but we can do it ourselves. Let's also let dispatch know we have our um, survivor here. And let's go ahead and tow his boat. All right, so we are now towing his boat. And we're going to go ahead and take him, let's see. I guess we'll take him right back to our port. So we're going to make our way back to our port, guys. We have our survivor. It looks like he's going to be OK. And we have his boat as well, which is good. Oh, crap. Now we're going to need rescuing. But I'm not looking where I'm going. <laughs> we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, we're good. All right. Now, I believe there's a way we could reel this in a little bit more, but I forgot what button it is. So I don't want to mess anything up, so I'm not going to press anything. So let's head back towards the um, our pier, and we are towing his jet ski, which is pretty awesome. Another awesome feature of Coastal Callout. So if you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you guys do me a favor. Smash that like button, guys. Leave some comments down below. And let me know what else you guys would like to see as well. So we're going to continue to make our way back to our port. And we just had a successful rescue. And like I said, we were pretty close there. We had like maybe like, what, a two-minute response time. So yeah, it definitely was a good idea for them to send us. Is that a shark? Good idea for them to send us Can't instead of waiting for the Coast Guard, which could take up to 30 minutes just for them to um, launch their helicopter. So definitely was in the right place at the right time. Oh my god, there's sharks everywhere. Oh my god, that is so scary. 
Can't believe there's sharks. I don't really see sharks that much. Wow, that is pretty scary. I remember when um, Prone Guy played Coastal Callouts, he had sharks everywhere. That was pretty scary. I really got chills right there. Like in real life, I got chills seeing those shark fins right there. But that was pretty cool though. Alright, so let's continue. Um, so like I was saying in the beginning of the video, there's the Coast Guard version of this boat. There's now the Los Santos Port Police version. And there's also the Sheriff version as well. So if you guys would like to see me use the Sheriff version, definitely let me know. A little while ago, um, we used the giant um, response boat medium, which is way bigger than this. We used the Sheriff boat for that one, which is pretty cool. And I'll try to remember to link that right now as a card in case you guys want to go check that one out. Hopefully I remember. But um, yeah, we're going to continue making our way back to the um, port here. And like I said before, if you guys do want to check this out a little bit early, definitely check out PNW Parks Fan Benefactor Program. Link will be posted down below. And huge thank you to PNW Parks Fan for making this amazing call out. Shout out to Skyline GTR Freak as well for making all of these amazing models, helicopters, and boats. And um, yeah, they're a great team. So we are nearly back, guys. Make sure I go in the right way. Yeah, it's a little tricky. We gotta go around. Let's go to the left. I got these cargo ships. These are so cool. One day we're gonna have to take one of these cargo ships out for a spin and drive them. Yeah, it is so cloudy right now. This is crazy. Look at the detail on how we're towing the boat too, like that's so cool. Alright, so we're almost back guys. So again, make sure you guys hit that like button and leave some comments down below. Let me know what else you guys would like to see in Coastal Callouts and I definitely will do my best to try to make it happen. And don't forget guys, make sure you subscribe, hit the post notification bell as well so you won't miss the next episode. We will be doing the next coast, another Coastal Callouts video tomorrow. So hope to see all you guys back on the channel tomorrow. These jet skis, man. Look at them causing all... Yeah, I need to just pull over all of these guys. Do some boating inspections out here. Because these guys are just being reckless, man. Very, very reckless. Alright, we're nearly back at the port here. Imagine being on a jet ski while it's being towed. That would be pretty crazy. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> That's funny that he decided to say something. Alright, so we're back at the port here. And looks like it wants us to park this way, so let's try our best to get in here. Whoa, look at all these people here, whoa. Alright, so let's go ahead and drop this guy off. And we should get a cool animation here as well. Let's see what happens. Hey, ambulance is right there. They're taking them up on a stretcher. That is pretty cool there. Wait. Oh, no. They're taking the wrong guy off on a stretcher. I had my partner in the vehicle. <laughs> they took my partner. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool, but that was my fault. We had an extra person in the in the vehicle, so it kind of glitched out there. All right. Um, right. We'll pull his um jet ski in. So let's go ahead and... Oops. Go ahead and oh, now we can shorten it and everything. I guess let's shorten it. See if we can pull it in a little bit closer. Oh, they're doing it again. I see the other guys in the ammo, which is good. All right, so the guys in the ammo. It looks like it tried a second time and it got it got them in. All right, so I'm just trying to pull this up. Let's go ahead and anchor my boat here. And let's go ahead and stop. Uh, let's pull it a little more. So we got the jet ski here. We recovered it. Go ahead and probably delete it right there. So yeah, that was pretty cool right there. That was pretty cool. 
Alright guys, so that is going to do it for today's Coastal Callouts episode. Yes, we didn't fall in the water again. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the uniforms, the boats, everything. Coastal Callouts in general. So thank you guys for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, hit that like button. Leave a comment down below and subscribe if you are new. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!